Hey everyone, welcome back around the kitchen table for this week's Commander with Friends. We've got Charging Badger playing Garda. We have Jason playing Joda. We have Woody playing Oscar, And we have Pod of Many Things playing his Jace deck. Drop turn. I will a a mountain. And say go. Alright, draw for turn. We'll play the floating bowl islands. <laughs> Tap it. Ghoul Caller's Bell. Artifacts, one mana. Each player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard if I tap it. Oh, look. I'm going to tap it. So can you all put the top card into your graveyard, please? I did Chase as a ratio. I got a <laughs> And then. Small, small Eugene or big Eugene? Uh, six. Is it six? Looks like small. Small, yeah, small yeah. Eugene. Uh, okay, right, wait a minute. Cool, uh, untap draw. Play a planes. I'll tap the planes and we'll play Esper and all, and then I'll be passing the turn. Draw. Uh, I will play Evolving Wilds. I'll crack it, but I'll get a swamp. Pass the turn. Okay. Off turn. Mm, useful. Um. I'm not ready. I will play a swamp and tap two for a ratchet bomb. Pass the turn. Okay. I'm gonna untap. Draw. Uh, oh, did you pay for ratchet bomb? Sorry, guys. I did not. I'll draw. I'm going to tap one blue to play Ruin Crab. Oh. I'm going to play my land for turn, which is an island. Can you all mill three, please? One, Legion Wars. Two, Hellrider. Three, Harlock. Four, Hellrider. Five, Hellrider. Six, Legion Wars. Seven, Hellrider. Eight, Legion Wars. Nine, Hellrider. Ten, Hellrider. Eleven, Hellrider. Twelve, Hellrider. Thirteen, Hellrider. And then I'm going to tap Ghoul Caller's Bell so we all put the top card from Ooh. one of the group. Frost Evolving Wilds. No, Damn it. Bronze Guardian. And then I am going to say go with one blue up. Okay. Untap. Uh, I didn't. I didn't pay for ruin crab by the way. So you get to one. It's non-creature. Oh yeah. It's non-creature. Um, I will play a rogue's passage, and then I will tap two for a microsynth wellspring. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I've accidentally given that to him trying to put the belts on him. Uh, yeah. Which will enter the battlefield or is put into my graveyard. Um, I may search my library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it to my hand. Um, uh, Jason, you're next to me, mate, so I'm going to come at you for one and then that's my turn, but I'm going to search my land. Rude. Untap. I'll keep. Draw. Uh, just playing good old fashioned. Good magic. I will play a horse at two for a fell lost stone and pass the turn. Okay. Uh, cannot pay for fell lost stone, so you will. Um, I will draw. Cannot pay for the Esper stone. Thank you very much. Hmm. We'll play Kirkie. And then tap red and two. Or a true soul zealot. Two. Whenever you attack, you may sacrifice another creature or an artifact. If you do, create a 4 1 black skeleton creature token with menace that's tapped and attacking. Nice. And nice. I'll pass the turn. Uh, untap. Draw. I'm play. Um, an island, so if we mills free, sorry. I for some reason got stupid and didn't know what I was doing. Oh, Bloom Thunder and Nina Harker along with another land. I read it by Soul Ring. Squee the Immortal! Well, that's going back. I'm going to Google call this bell, so we all do it again. 
Mister as well. Uh, uh, oh, like no, Cloud sure. even. Chase's triumph, and then I'm gonna um, pay two to summon my commander. Chase wins prodigy. This is a zero two human wizard. Um, when I can tap it, I draw a card and discard a card. There are five or more cards in your graveyard. Chase transforms into Planeswalker Chase. Um, I end my turn there. So I'll untap and draw. I'll play Mountain. Um, now what to play? I will tap a three for a Cloud Key. And when Cloud Key enters the battlefield, I will choose Artifact, artifact yeah. and Spells of the Chosen type cost one less to cast. Um, and then I'll pass. Untap. I'll keep draw. Okay. Uh, we'll just play a Rafine's Tower. Uh, pass turn. Good. Your turn then, points. Jason. I'm <laughs> gonna tap the Ratchet Bomb and put a Charge Counter on it. Tap. Keep draw. What's Ratchet Bomb do again? We're going to find out now, because I'm going to uh, tap Ratchet Bomb, sacrifice it, destroy each non-land permanent with converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters, which is one! So we're in crab this dies. Oh, and this is all cool as well. Oof. Um, that seems fair. I don't <laughs> like... I don't <laughs> like milling things. <laughs> Gosh damn it. The engine was up. I was about to go. Uh, this is the most... Still me. I think this is possibly one of the most depressing things of this card I have ever had to do. I'm going to play a Vesuva and make it a mountain. Oh, God. Uh, four. We'll bring Garner out. Uh, and then... B, I'm going to swing at you for two. Who? Hey. Exactly. At me. Sacrificing. Yeah. Seems fair. And I will pass the turn. Alright. Untap. That keep draw. Uh, pay an island. Uh, I'm gonna pay drown secrets, which is an enchantment. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target a player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. I'm going to tap Jace, draw a card, and discard a card if I need to. Um, I'm going to put Oath of Jace in the in the bin, and then I have my turn there. Okay, so. Untap and draw. I will play a planes. I will. What should we do then? I'll tap one and two for a command sphere. Have a lot of ice biscuits. I don't know if you wanna. And then four, three. I will play a Mystical Forge. Nice. Mystic Forge. Yeah. Uh, so I may look at the top card of my library at any time. I may cast the top card of my library if it is an artifact card or a colorless non land card. I can tap it, pay one, nice. and sell the top card of my library. Uh, and that's me done. Untap. Okay, draw. I will. What am I missing? Comments. 
I think I, I think everyone's almost playing all the colors I need except green, which is fine. So that means I can play a sure. play red. Uh, play a mountain even. Uh, nothing else to do. We might as well go get our friend uh, Joe the the unifier. Awesome. Oh, okay. hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on. Ooh. I just remembered something. Um, there were five chase transformed at the end of my turn, so... Because there was five cards in the graveyard, sorry. That's cool. Okay. Whose oh, turn is it? Oh, yeah. Cool. Garrett's going to come in and kill Jace. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I mean, because he hates milling cards. This is true. This is absolutely true. Mm. One, two, and three. I'm going to play Perforos, God of the Forge. Uh. Indestructible, as long as your devotion is uh, to red is less than five, Perforos isn't a creature, it is currently four. Um, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Perforos deals two damage to each opponent. So do I, do I take two damage now? Yeah, you no, know, because another creature hasn't come in yet. Um... Going slower than I think. How big is Jace? Five. You five? Yeah. Five loyalty. Oh, that That's one up to Garner, one time. Garner and, and, Garner and Gut will um, go towards Jace. What the fuck is this? No, it's fine. <laughs> 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 well, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, Jason and Teferi as story characters should have just gone, should have died in March of the Machines as some heroic <laughs> sacrifice and be done I think it and been never funny come if, back. If Jace was this one of the sparked ones, because then they'd just be like, "What does Jace do now?" Um, is it my turn? Uh, I will pass the turn. Yes. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, look. Leave that. Uh... I'm going to play Gar Reach Sanitarium as my plan for turn. Yeah, you know what? We're going to play Startled Awake, which is four. Target opponent puts the top 13 cards of his or her library into her, his or her graveyard. Badger. <laughs> um, oh, wait. There's Two, more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, wait, there's, there's more. more. Whenever, Whenever you cast, cast a blue spell, spell, oh, look what I did. Target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. One, two, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> this is going to happen, whether you want it to or not. Um, uh, and then I end my turn there. Okay, untap, draw. Check what's on top of my library. How to, to make, make friends, friends and unfriend people. people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love the fact that me and you haven't really spoke for a little while, Gareth, and then the first thing I do is just terrorise you when I come back. Yeah, yeah, the first thing, the first thing you do is destroy my deck. Oh, okay. I remember Drown Secrets. Okay. Mm -hmm. a limited standard all-star. I will play an event as fair. And nice. four, six, 
I will play Sun Titan. Yikes. And when Yikes. Sun Titan comes in, I am going to um I'm gonna get my soul ring back out of my graveyard. I forgot it does that. I've yeah. not seen someone play Sun Titan in so long. <laughs> I thought that was quite nice. It's pretty dope. Oh, I think I need Everyone to turn that off. Boring. One, one, two, three. Everyone's like, oh, Sun, Sun Titan. Titan. Yeah. And then it died, died, died off for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I quite like getting the Soul Ring back. That was nice. Um, and then I shall pass the turn. <laughs> right. Sun Tap. Happy draw. Uh, let's go ahead and play a, another planes. Another planes? The first planes. Um, I don't like milling. I also don't like an artifact that gives me PTSD, it does. Um, we'll just see what happens. Uh, Woody, Joe is coming at U45. Um, you said that with so much confidence, even though I've got a 6-6 six, six on the board. Mm -hmm. mm. I will not block. Okay, uh, before damage. Yeah. I will tap. This is going to hurt. Yep. <laughs> three, four mana. Uh, flashing kill dice or Kamigawa. I will put Joda as the indestructible. Uh, gains indestructible as so, so long as I control Kyodai. Uh, so before damage, Joda will now become a six. Uh, actually, no. Sorry, Joda does count himself as a six six. So he's actually now a seven seven. Okay. Uh, we will then trigger the Joda effect. Oh, have you got most uh, we are looking for three or less. Or legendaries. There's an anima. Uh, so that means the Joda buff is currently at three. So you are taking eight commander damage, good sir. So go to thirty. And we've got eight on Joda. There uh, Joda is currently indestructible so long as Kill dies on feel and then pass the turn. Right, untap. Oh. I feel like we've got two battles going on. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> Poor Garrus get attacked from all sides. <laughs> Trying to think of oh, who's going to have the best instant and sorcery cards. I'm going to bring out a thespian stage for my land. Well, yeah, next merit large, merit lage. Still has nothing on the field, whereas Lee has a relatively big body. Jason has multiple relatively big bodies. <laughs> so you should deal with that. Right, I, sh I, I, I should deal I with mean, that. I mean, you should, but then so long as you don't come at me, I'm it doesn't gonna, come at you. I'm going at Addison for uh, six. Okay. Uh, four of which is commander damage. Yeah. And then a second. So yours is Ghana, right? Yeah. Four, four commander damage. Yeah. 
Yep. And then second main, I'm going to pay two. And two. Or Rakdos, Lord of Riots. Which brings Perforos into the mix. Oh, and triggers nice. Perforos. Yeah. It does. So everyone takes two damage, please. Yep. Apparently, yeah. And I will pass this in. Right. So, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna pay an island. I'm going to for five. Cast started awake from my graveyard, but it said it comes back as. Persistent Nightmare. So 1-1 one, one with Skulk. Mm -hmm. So 1-2-3-4-5. So 1 with Skulk, and when Persistent Nightmare deals damage to a player, return it to its owner's hand. That triggers Drown Secrets. Gareth, would you like to put two cards in your <laughs> in your bin, please? Yeah, that's a Gary. Okay. Um... And then I end my turn there. Some real scary stuff in that bin. Mm. I hate to have like a... Bajooka bog. Yeah, or... <laughs> yeah, nobody have a Bajooka bog. I mean, I could be sitting, I could be sitting on a reanimate spell. Okie dokie. So, untap and drawn. Let's play a... Um... Battlefield Forge. Oh, in fact, upkeep oh, trigger on um, Inventor's Fair, I will gain a life. Which is probably vital. <laughs> um, so, go and search for something now. Okay. Uh, so, I'll play a Battle Forge. Uh, Battlefield Forge for my land. And let's double check if that's an artifact creature. Yes, it is. So I will do red, white, and two off the soul ring uh, for this ancient witness. And this gives my Ooh. other artifact creatures haste. And whenever one or more artifact creatures I control attacks, this deals X damage to any target. And then I scry X where X is the number of tapped artifacts I control. Um, so, with that then, we've, oh, I can look at the top card of the library. Okay, can't do that. Um, we can also do one, two, three, four, five. Four. A Steel Hellkite. Because that seems like a good card to play. Um... So that has haste. So, uh, Badger, you got no flyers, right? Or anything with reach? I have a flyer. I have a 6-6 six, six flyer. You have a 6-6 six, six flyer. How's that demon fly? That's no good. It's Rakdos. It's Lord Rakdos. It's still no good. Lord Rakdos. He brings the party. Oh, I got flyers. <laughs> I don't have flyers. Okay, Addison, I'm going to have to come your way with the uh, Sun Titan. Yeah, so I know. I'll get a Sun Titan trigger, and I'm going to trigger the Esper Sentinel. I'm not doing a little dance in the corner now. <laughs> <laughs> just let me mill him out. Just, 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 just one time. No. I, 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 no. I needed the trigger no. for the Esper Sentinel. <laughs> oh, he's got that back again. Yeah, it's only gonna draw stuff. But I got oh, yeah. I, I got rid of that once. Yeah. I was doing everybody a favour. Yeah. Then what? what? And then what does Anderson decide to do with that? Just like mill me. <laughs> Non-threat at the table. What are you, what are you gonna do Not with this six-six six Titan? <laughs> He's hit me with a 6-6 six, six time. Yeah. Did you yeah, take it? Are you taking it? Yeah, yeah I took it. Oh, right. cool. Okay. 
Uh, and then, I'll pass. then I'll pass. Cool. Untap. Uh, put this cup of tea down for a sec. Right. Let us draw a card and see what happens. So, okay, this is going to be interesting. So let's put down a chorus. Interesting. I think this will be extremely funny. <laughs> uh, so I've, nev I've never play. gotten to play this this particular card. Um, so I think. I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh. I have oh, yeah, I bet it, it ends up milling me or something. The irony is <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I'm out there. <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll be, be fine. fine, it'll be fine, don't worry. Uh, let's, let's see, let's tap for four, one, and a Grixis. I will play Marchesa, the Black Rose. Uh, then we will Cascade for Joda. Uh, looking for three or less on the Legendary scale. Alright, that's a sissy. Why the light captain? Oh, that is a sissy. Yes. Oof. You can, can see, see where this deck, deck is going. Oh, yeah. Um, Marchesa and sissy will trigger Anima. So it gets plus two, plus two counters. Uh, we are currently at the five, FCON 5. Uh, unfortunately, no mana to activate Sissé, so that's absolutely grand. We are going to go to the swing step. Now, problem is, Steel Howlkite is colorless, which means I cannot swing at Woody. So I'm free. fine with that. That's just Badge is pretty healthy. He yeah, he's also got a, he's got a uh, actually he might not trade with the Raptors, which will be interesting. Alright. Well, let's get, see what happens. Get benefits when I trade. You do get when you trade, but also my cook kill die is a huge chunkers of the eight eight. So uh it'll be fine, I think. But Let's see. Let's. Uh, also, I do get benefits with Marchesa, so. Marchesa wants dethroning to happen. Yeah. Uh, which means. Kill die. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, kill die plus. Uh, Joda uh, is going to come say hi to Badger. Uh, trigger the Marchesa. Because uh, you are the highest life total currently. Uh, so they get a plus one, plus one counter. Uh, Joda is currently a 11-11. No other evasion. Kyodai is a 9-9 nine nine, uh, with flying. Uh, I say no other evasion. He does have indestructible so long as Kyodai is on field. That's fine. I will block your indestructible with my indestructible. Um, oh, and I will okay. take the... I will take your dice. Yes, pal table disagrees. Yeah, you take Kyodai's life, did you just say? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, dear. Nine from Kyodai, was that? Uh, yes, it was. Okay. Uh, and... Pass turn. Oh, oh, after that beating, beating. on tap. Oh. Mm. Who's got the? Who do you think's got the best instant sorcery selection in their deck? Not me. What are you looking for? Just thinking, thinking things. <laughs> I mean, if you if you tell me what you're looking for, I can tell you. I've got a way of stealing stuff from other people's graveyards. As long as they're instants and sorceries. Um. Most of my spells are ramp, 
I'm just going to tell you there is a singular removal and a multicolored uh, spell <laughs> that is not a but it won't affect legendary your thing. Uh, it might, depending on where it goes. Uh, okay. It's not like just destroy all non multicolored creatures. <laughs> oh god, no. I, I did not I did not buy into the Dominaria precon, so unfortunately I don't have those cards. This is literally a binder deck. Oh nice. Along with double masters. Um Six is going at you at the minute, Addison. I'll take it. I'm going down to twenty one. Then, because you've taken damage, spells cost six less, creature spells cost six less for me to cast, so I'm going to pay two black for Murderous Redcap. Murderous Redcap comes to play, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. Oh, look at the creature. Oh, look at that. That's a persistent nightmare. Um, <laughs> Esper Sentinel. Or Esper Sentinel. That is yeah. also... Esper Sentinel hasn't made me mill half my library and then enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so, uh, also, it has persist, so it can come back and deal one damage to an Esper Sentinel if it feels like it. True. Uh, the, the, nightmare, nightmare, the Nightmare is going to die. Uh, does Nightmare turn back into its front face facing self in the graveyard? Yes, yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Unless, so, uh, unless the spirit says it exiles itself. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. No, because... Nope. Uh, nope. Hang on, which is then, uh, Everybody yeah. takes two from Perforos's ability, please. Oh, nice. Yep. And then I'm going to tap two red to bring in Squee from my graveyard. Because I can cast Squee the Immortal from my graveyard or from exile. Um, which is another two for everybody, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's me done. Okay, and tap. Tap, keep, draw. Ooh. I'm gonna pay three. So pay Sphinx is the enchantment, Sphinx is tutelage. So whenever I draw a card, target opponent puts the top two cards of his or her library into the graveyard. If they're both non-lands, cards that share a colour, repeat this process. Drown Seekers activates Badger. There you go. You feel getting the... Yep, two. Oh, Holger! I'm on Nick's list, I haven't played him yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then... You know what? As a... Uh, as I'm being annoying, I'm going to activate the ability of Gaia Reach Sanitarium. I'm going to tap it, and I'm going to uh, pay two. Each player draws the card and discards the card. Okay. Um, so we'll every draw draws one. Oh, I draw a card. Oh no. What a shame. <laughs> Um, so, Gareth, would you like to Sphinx's his tutelage, please? Uh, so it's two cards from your library into your graveyard, please. Are they both black? Yeah, Conrad. Yeah. Just like, so, empty the pits. Uh, so they're both black, so I would like to repeat the process, please. So you go again. So two again. Yeah, you gotta go until you hit. Two red. Uh, no, lands are considered colourless, I think. Non-land yeah. cards as well. Yeah. yeah. You're lucky. I'll give you that. So I'm I'm prepared for death next turn. So I'm just going to play an island for my land for turn. And I say go. Okie dokie. So I'll untap. Draw. Check the top of my line. Okay. I can go there. Um, I will gain a life off the Inventor's Fair. Um, right, I'm going to pay two and three and four and sacrifice the inventor's fare. And I'm going to go looking for an artifact. Uh, you, I don't know if it's in here. Uh, 
can't think what it's called off the top of my head. What's it do? Yeah. I don't know. Sounds, Sounds like, like a staff, staff of domination, domination bullshit. Oh, that would have been good. Would have been good. I don't know the deck. It's Total's deck, so I don't know the deck. Um. Uh, okay, has got Jim. it. Has got it. Ava Flux Reservoir. Oh. Is what we'll go for. And mm -hmm. that goes to my hand, I think. Yep. Yeah, put it into my hand. Cool. Um, for three, is it three? Yes, we'll be, be three. We will play said Ava Flux Reservoir. And then that's all about casting spells but we've got no mana and I'll check the top card of my library I will play this pathway as land for turn uh, it's two mana total oh that will let me play a goblin engineer for uh, gain life and. from Gain life from the reservoir. Uh, go search my library for an artifact card and put it in my graveyard. Um, let's view all. What do I want to do? I don't even know. I'm going to put a meteor golem into my graveyard because that's an artifact, right? Does that mm -hmm. work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that will work. Yeah, that's probably a column in. Um, <laughs> then I will go to com. Uh, do I want to go to combat? <laughs> you probably do. <laughs> probably. I don't know where to go though. If you need to get that meteor go is just, can you get that meteor golem from? Uh, not this turn. Sunday? I can get it. I can get it back with the goblin engineer. Next yeah. turn. Um, you could go out. Could you go at? Um, could you go out, Jason? I could uh, with my currently my. Like, you could. Um, uh, no, Steel Hellkite will get through because I my only fly is tap down. Yes, but then I think I'm going to get hurt a lot <laughs> if I don't keep him back. I'm going to pass the turn. I didn't say I was going to go. No, Jason said something about my health kite being there, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm, I'm, ju I'm just pointing out the facts. There was a steel health kite. I don't know what, what more you want. That's right. I'm happy sitting back here. <laughs> it was very objective. It was very objective. Oh, okay. If you must know. Uh, I will play a Shivan Reef. Shivan Reef. Yes. Shivan Battle. Um, what can we do here? That's the question. Uh, Badger, you've currently got access to Black Mana, haven't you? I do. Right, fantastic. Pelostom will work in this case. Wait, hang on. Oh, oh no. Everything black is tapped. I have a care keep and a Thespian stage, which hasn't uh, turned into anything. That's fine. Uh, I was more thinking about Pelostom for myself. Okay. Uh, so that's a black, white, blue, take one, uh, discount it with Anima, I will, oh, uh, do I actually, or do I just do the Sissé thing, because the Sissé thing could be well funny, <laughs> but will probably make everyone hate me as well. Uh, nah, it will be nice. Uh, Bane, Bane, uh, Lord of Darkness. Uh, so long as my half, my life total is, uh, less than or equal to half my starting life total, he's indestructible. Uh, whenever a non-token creature I control dies, target opponent may have you draw a card. If they don't, you may put a creature card, uh, equal to or lesser toughness 
from your hand onto the battlefield. Uh, here we go, we are looking for three or less again. Or legendaries, I should say. God, you needed a shovel, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we definitely... Ooh, General Ferris and Rokeric. This is the hex proof for a monocolor. Whenever I cast a multicolored spell, I create a 4-4 four, four golem creature token. This is good. This is a good deck you've got going here. Literally, like I said, this is literally from all the crap I cracked from Double Masters 2022 uh, and other stuff I just had lying around. Uh, then trigger Anima twice, get plus four plus four. Uh, so you see, got four counters on there. Well, how big is Joda now? Uh, Joda, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Joda, yes, we're on Def on seven now. Uh, we are not done. Is that the same for Cissé as well? Uh, she get the same ability. Uh, no, she only gets uh, plus one plus one for each colored permanent um, among other other legendaries. So the moment she's down with Joda, she's an auto seven seven. Uh, nice. So, he is pretty good. Uh, however, we will tap Rufin's Tower for black and a double black. Uh, we're going to cause uh, Juji the Midnight Sky. Uh, we are going to go for looking for a 4-drop. Uh, which, unfortunately, will not trigger General, but that's fine. Uh, wait. So we are going uh, to Nerd, uh, Leaper's Scourge. This is one of the cards from the Precons. Uh, menace, other creatures, other legendary creatures I control have Menace whenever I play Legendary Land or Spell. Draw a card, lose a life. Uh, trigger Anima, it's up to six. Deck on nine. Uh, yeah, trouble. we are. We are. We are, def uh, we are definitely saying hi to everyone. Do you know what would have been really useful? Mm. Blasphemous act. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I saw. Yeah. Do you know what? I saw the blasphemous act. I was like, oh, oh, oh I'm so glad. Blasphemous act is gone in the bin before my board could get really huge. See what you've done here, Gareth. This is our fault. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we could have got was... I am taking no responsibility for your bad choices. <laughs> you, you literally destroyed everything I'd worked for. The other, cons the other consequences of your actions don't make me teacher talk you. <laughs> wow. You made bad choices, uh, and that's why you're here. Weren't you asking about a card that could get instants and sorceries back out of graveyards? Yep. But I don't think I, I don't think I'll get to play it unless Gareth lets me. Mm. I think Gareth's going to be here to make that choice. <laughs> I don't think Addison is now. No, I think I think we're both dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could I could swing out at both of you. Could you not swing out all three of us and pretty much rub? Like... So these three, these three can't swing. Uh, we're looking at the these two. So I mean, here's the thing. I have currently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times 9 is 36 power in buff, um, 36, uh, 42, 49, 50, 3, 60, 65, 68 worth of power. Um, you However, also because of D uh, only if a player has the most life, which currently, annoyingly, I am the most life, so D throne will not work uh, if I swing. I actually, you, you, you knock out at least two of us if you choose to. Yeah, 
yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that'll be the idea. Um, it's just whether I force. God, the problem is. I feel if I don't take Woody out, that Aether Flux wet reservoir is going to get loaded with a bullet and it's going to come at me. Mm-hmm. Well, if you take the other out, you're the only person it can go at. <laughs> However, I've only again, got one card in hand. Mm-hmm. So I'll just point that out. <laughs> yeah, but but you're... But... He's, he's also got, got Perforos and Rakdos, and he's just, yeah. I don't know, you know. I think, I feel like Woody has, has the bigger board presence. You have the ability to save him from hurting you for a turn. Yeah. What's, what's your, what's what's your graveyard, graveyard situation like, Woody? A graveyard. I've got, 11, in graveyard. I've got 11 in graveyard. Uh, 11 in graveyards. Yeah, do we read, do we read out what's in there? No, nah, all good, you all good. I, I assume, I assume it's all... Artifact good stuff, <laughs> including a, a meteor golem. There's a meteor golem. There's a couple of land. Yeah. Mizra's bauble. A couple of not yeah. very impactful artifacts. Uh, there's a there's a mere battle sphere. There's yeah, literally no way for me to kill you. If, if you if you get rid of Gareth, there's literally no way for me to kill you apart from Hill, which because yeah. we it's gonna be slow and painful. <laughs> it will be slow and painful. Uh, right. Let's, and then you're just gonna crack, crack me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens um, because I think uh, uh, we're gonna go for sure. Most of my creature, uh, all my creatures have menace anyway, so um, kill die will go at Woody. Uh, I'm just, just declaring, declaring attackers for now. now. I'm not. I haven't uh, quite decided where is what is going where. Um, that's that will probably go at Badger. This will probably go maybe at Badger. Uh, we may keep my chaser back just because of the Persian. Um, we'll make this at seven. Uh, plus nine is okay. Annoyingly, just one shy of taking Addison out with just to say. I mean, the less that comes at me, the more I, the, the more quickly I can take Addison out. Just saying. <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that la- that, that laugh was, was very well timed. Yeah. My 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 wife just laughs and has no idea, but it's like she's like, "Yay, he gets to go free!" Yeah, yeah. Just like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, do you know what? I think we're gonna go this way. So, he'll die. Plus Joda. Yeah, because he just uh, Gareth would just ping me to death anyway, wouldn't he? Potentially. As soon as he plays a creature. Oh yeah, that is true actually. So we could do that. Get Gareth to do my work for me. Um, yeah, go this way. I think is the most sensible play. Yes, I think that is the most sensible play. Cool. Right. Sorry about that. So. Uh, Joda plus Kildai is going to come at Woody. Sisse is coming at Addison. Uh, Anima plus Bane is coming at Badger. All creatures have her, all creatures have menace. Uh, we'll go around the table in terms of power and toughness. So, uh, for Woody, uh, Kildai is currently a 412 power, unless we have another. <laughs> Flying creature, you will not be able to block this one. Nope. So that's guaranteed uh, 13. Okay. Now, Joe does the interesting one because you could block everything behind it and kill him. Uh, he is. He is actually still indestructible. So. Does he have trample? Depending on how much. He does not have trample, so you could chump him. Awesome. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, yeah so, so that, that will that will do that. that. Yeah. Uh, Anima plus Bane at Badger. Badger. It is a seven. Uh, seven plus nine is sixteen. Pro white, pro black. Uh, Menace. Uh, Bane, Lord of Darkness, no other evasion, but is a 14-11. Okay. So, uh, based, based so no evasion uh, in terms of trample. Uh, so, yeah, what you, basically, with what you've, what you've sent my way, mm -hmm. Squee and Perthros have to block Anima. Is pro black. So the other two would then block Bane. Oh. So Perforce obviously stays on the board. Yeah. Um, Squee will die. Uh, what, what was the total, total power for those two, just, just in case? Was, uh, eight. Eight, so not enough to kill Anima. But Bane might die here. Uh, is it no. Is indestructible? No, no, you shouldn't do. Um, yeah, so um, Squee, Squee will die, and then Rakdos and the Red Cap. So that would only be eight going. Cool. Bane. Cool. Um, uh, you've got a persist trigger. I've got a few triggers. Um, so I've got three Garner triggers, which is one damage to each opponent. Oh, yeah, everybody. Three. three. I'm out. Okay. Um, <laughs> then the red cap comes back with the persist counter on it, so the perforce trigger. Everybody take two, please. Okay. Two. I I will be chump blocking. I'll just I'll get them out of the way. Oh. <laughs> that was S percent and the goblin engineer. And then I don't think there's anything that has one life, so. Yeah. I will deal one damage to you, Jason, simply because of all that. Yeah. And what damage am I taking <laughs> off the flyer, Jason? Sorry. Uh, the flyer was a uh, 4 plus 9, 13. 13. Go, go to 9. Uh, and uh, then pass the turn. It's a possibility. possibility. Mm. So, untap. Um, roll for turn. Is he actually good at something? Why can't say it's the same Kyle? I mean, it's safe to say that if I swing, I am dead next turn. Helps. I don't know. 
I'm going to have to try it. So, I'm going to play a black and two, four, five. Killing wave where X is five. For each creature, its control sacrifices it unless he or she pays five life. Oh, what? How much? Uh, what is this? Uh, how much we... X is five. X is five. Uh, X is five. I am paying five. That's so each creature. creature. Each creature. Ooh, hello. That is actually awful. <laughs> so that is what? 25? Wolf. Okay. Okay. You have to make some choices. Doesn't Junji have a death effect, though? So you could... He does have a death effect, and I also have my chaser, so that means. To do Joda, Kildai, Anima, Junji, uh, and the General as my five sacrifice effects. Uh, then I think with the effect from Junji, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to lose two life. I'm going to get a creature out of my graveyard. Uh, I'm going to get Karlak, Fury of Avernus, under my control. Oh, I love her! Uh, I'm going to choose to sack all three of mine, strangely. <laughs> strangely. <laughs> strangely. I need that! <laughs> um, more importantly, Joda is currently in Graveyard, uh, because... Does that not also work on you, though, Gareth? Yeah, yeah, I'm letting my opponents make their decisions first. Yep. Being polite. <laughs> These three will potentially come back at the beginning of the next one step. So you need to take 20 damage there, Jace. Am I? Yeah, because if you, if you keep to say Bane, Marchesa, no, and Fingerjig. Uh, I had five creatures which I sacked. No? Or... No, I so no. Each creature. Each creature. Every I apologize. That's no, alright. I apologize. So then that means uh one, two, three, five. So I think let's keep to so say keep I am going to keep two and take ten. And see if that kills me next turn. Okay, so. That is such a strong card. I've never seen that. Uh, what was it called? Killing Wave. Killing Wave. Yeah, that's Killing great in every wave. black deck now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's in, I mean, that's in the Strahd Old School, so. Yeah. Not surprising. The old school so, cards were pretty songs. I think I will. I'm gonna risk it and take 15. Nice. Ooh. Oh, baby. What's going on here? Are you sacrificing the red then? Yeah, yeah, I'm sacrificing the red cap, which. The red cap will, the red cap will die. Yeah. Which triggers um, Garner. One damage to everybody, please. Okay. Yeah. Red cap comes back, which is seen by Perforos. So everybody take another two, please. How yeah. does how does the red cap come back if it was already on a minus one minus one? Because it still comes back, then it gets the minus one minus one counter, which then kills it. Uh. Wait, 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 hang on. When no, this creature no, no, dies, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I misread it. I apologise. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say because they usually stop uh, once they have trying a counter. To be... Yeah, that's me trying to be more clever than I actually am. <laughs> I mean, if, uh, you, if you had an Ozolith. This is true. Uh, and I do, but I didn't. But it's not in this deck. That's a cute get around there, I like that. The Ozolith. And then. Stroking Jace's hair. I'm going to. I can't actually win this now. 
you can you can come second place. <laughs> no, I can't. No, I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Yes, I can. So, um, Anna and Guts. Uh, hang on. Are they? Oh, no. Because the only other way is you make a deal with Chris. Chris attempts to try and kill me somehow. I I have no bargaining chip, mate. <laughs> you can no. keep me alive, so you've got blockers if you want. <laughs> I don't have an ability to deal eight that I can see. Seems fair. Are you going to get Menace again on your turn, Jason? Uh, no. I will have the only three. So, at the moment, Kyodai, Anima, and Joda are due to come back in a sec. Uh, at the end of uh, Badger's turn. If I'd have, kept the, if I'd have paid for the Red Cup, I could have, uh, I could have done it, but I can't, so... Both are going to go at you, and take you down to one. Okay. Go down to one. Is that me to go? Yeah, all yours. Okay. Untap drawers. Uh, at the end of uh, Woody's oh, yeah. uh, badges, and Anima. Kildai comes back. Kildai comes back in this specific order. Kildai will choose. I mean, enough, I actually. Mm, I will actually choose Karlak as the indestructible. Yeah, that was cool. Um, right, so on to I will look at the top card of my library. Yeah, that ain't doing anything, so I can stay there. Um, uh, what can we do with this? So, I'll tap for the Soaring to pay a Borrow Signet for one, and I'll gain a life. I will use the Floating one, and two, and three to play a Sad Robot. Uh, go and get land which will shuffle my deck go get this mountain uh, tapped and gain two life and look at the top card of my library and for two I will play this thousand year elixir and gain three life. Um, let me put that on the card reader. Uh, untap target creature you control, so that's not going to do much. Top card of my library. Oh, uh, for zero, I'll play Sensei's Divine in top. And gain four life. So much life. So much life. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So so quickly. Yeah. I will tap one to exile the top card of my library, which was this card here. Add a view. Um, ah, uh, that's no good. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to tap yeah. that to do that. And I can't do anything with that Urza Saga on top. So I will pass the turn. Oh, on top. Let's see what this card is. Oh, I could have, I could have drawn it <laughs> off my yeah. command sphere. Oh well. <laughs> Let me see if it made a difference. Okay. Let's do. Uh, right, we're gonna do the sissy thing. Uh... Oh, I could have topped as well. <laughs> Bad place. That's right. what everyone's um... here for. Yeah, we're gonna. 
do the Sissé thing, and we're gonna go. <coughs> I'll just try to make it. Just try to make it get me there. Got Alex Norm, I guess you uh, I could get Alex Norm. Uh, it's either Jet Me or Alex Norm that gets me there, I think. Wait, what was Jet Me? Nine. Annoyingly, it's nine. Let me just check. Because. No, I think strictly Jet Me might be the better voice here because. He gives me vigilance. Mm -hmm. You get two combat steps, steps, right? No. Uh, yes, I do actually. So, yeah, no. Yeah, I think best choice is Jet Mia then. Right. So we're jet near, uh, which is the usual finishing move here. No. Jet near comes onto field. Um, you can tell I did not have. Well, I did have a creature card, but I think Sissy was the better choice here. Right. Go to combat. Uh, we're gonna swing. Oh, I guess trying. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah, yeah, basically, uh, there's a buff of 7 from Joda, plus a buff of 2 from Jetmir, which gives all my creatures Vigilance and Trample. Um, so there's a 9 across the board going straight at Badger. Uh, Carlite -like triggers, uh, unless there are any effects, otherwise. Second combat phase goes at uh, Woody. Yeah, mate. Nicely done. Yeah, all done. Oof. Right. GG's. GG. 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 Um. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the end of the video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'd just like to give a thank you to our patron, Ed, and give you all a reminder that you can go and check us out on Patreon for a booster a month sent to your door and great discounts on our card market so feel free to check out the link in the description